Hey folks, it's me, Brian, and this is what I'm drinking. Today, I'm having a Straff Hendrix Christmas Blend, uh, which is 11% alcohol by volume. It's the 2018 version. It is an Oak Aid Quadruple Blend, and the label reads as such. The De Half Moon Brewery is located in the heart of brews and is widely known for his highly acclaimed Strive Hendrick Quadruple, of which I like. A very limited selection of the Quadruple production is barrel aged each year in the medieval cellars of the brewery. For this special Christmas blend, the barrel selection is determined by the De Half Brews Brewmaster, De Half Moons Brewmasters. Combining Bordeaux, Cavados, and Rum Barreled Quadruple with Young Quadruple. This special blend is then re-fermented in the bottle, allowing for even more complexity, fine effervescence, and an extended shelf life. This beer, this special beer, will age nicely up to five years. And I bought this back in July, and I have been patiently waiting to drink it. In fact, I bought two of them in July. I drank one immediately. Then I said, well, let me wait until Christmas time to drink the other, let it age a little bit more in the bottle. So let's crack this open, folks. Merry Christmas. It's the holiday season. So there you have it. It's a pretty dark, opaque beer with a tannish head that is not too much. It smells spicy. It smells uh, sugary, like maltiness, a little bit of chocolate. Uh, but very multi, uh, but very spicy. Here's a good look, folks. Very dark. What you expect from a triple? So let's give it a taste. Prost, my friends. So it's heavy body. A great deal of sweetness and some spice on the back end like that peppery spice that you can get from Belgian beers very smooth and like a very very sweet that, that candied um, candy yeast I guess they use pepper spice um, a little bit of like caramel taste too. Not so much chocolate, um, but definitely the candied sugars. And extremely smooth, especially for 11% alcohol by volume. You don't get a strong, uh, overpowering alcoholic taste nor strong alcoholic beer taste. It's, it's not so bitter. Uh, very balanced. I like the quadruple. I like the triple um, from Hendrix. I love this. Uh, it was well worth the extra five months and change from when I bought it in July. When I had it back in July, I liked it. I think it is even better if you let it ferment more in the bottle so this is a 2018 version so it's been sitting around for at least four years i recommend you get this and let it sit around as long as possible it seems to get better with age now you don't get so much of an oaky flavor which is good in my opinion i, I don't like so much wood oaky flavor in my beer there's a lot of like barrel aged brews out there I've tried one crazy expensive and I didn't quite like it 
So you don't get a whole lot of it with this. I think the key with this product is they let it ferment in the bottle. So I would rate this, I give this an 85 out of 100. It's a wonderful product. Uh, it's 11% alcohol by volume, and as you can see from the bottle size, this is not anything to play around with. Give yourself uh, several hours, the course of several hours to consume it and enjoy it. Not if you're gonna have it at 10 p.m. on a Monday night and you gotta work Tuesday morning. So, there you have it folks. Another review in the books. Strav Hendrix Christmas Blend 2011. I give it the thumbs up for drinkability. 85 out of 100. Thumbs up for appearance. It's a good uh, it's a good taste. It is a, a quality beer product. Stay safe, stay sane and I will see you later folks. Thank you.